good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name is Emma. If you're new to the channel, make sure you stick around and you subscribe each week. I upload a weekly vlog and I also do hauls and all sorts of chats as well. And tonight I'm doing a video that I'm very excited about and I've been planning for a while. It's an Amazon must-haves. Now, disclaimer, this is a family Amazon must-haves. So this is the kind of thing that I've got for me and the fam that has really helped me with being a mom and helped me like get out of some sticky situations. If you are looking for a Amazon must-have that's just related to me, maybe I could upload one another week. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that, like products I've bought or interiors I've bought. But this is more family-based, okay? So these are the things on Amazon in the past six months to a year that I have bought and I have loved. I will link below everything. It's quite niche to my family, but hopefully you'll find some things that you really, really like. There's been some things that have been absolute lifesavers and some products that I've really, really, really enjoyed. So I tend to hit um, Amazon if there's something I can't get in the shops that we usually go to, or maybe if a follower recommends something or a friend recommends something, that's when I hop on. And I'm not gonna lie, there's a couple of times where late at night I thought, ugh, panicked that I need something the next day, so I have hopped on and got it. So let's start off with something that I have loved and I've got in both my kids' wardrobes is these hangers. So a lot of you might already have these hangers in your bedroom. You can get them in Primark. You can get um, really thin hangers. They're much better for the clothes. You can fit so many more clothes in and the clothes don't slip off. So I have bought a couple of boxes in the past from Amazon. I went for pink and I've also picked up a blue box of hangers. I will say I wish I'd just gone for a neutral colour so I could have used it in both the wardrobes. Um, I'm now currently mixing everything up, which doesn't look quite as uniform as I'd like, like Erin's is half blue, Ethan's is half pink. So maybe I should have gone for like a beige or a black, but yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. Also in Erin's wardrobe, which I've not got to hold up because it's hanging, is an over the door shoe holder. So Erin's wardrobe is kind of a little built in cupboard in her bedroom. So she needed something to pop her shoes in. So I got an over the door shoe hanger and it's really good. We keep it in her shoes. We also keep in like gloves. And it just means everything's organised and it's really easy to get to and it was super reasonably priced. So, parties. I like to plan nice parties for the kids. A lot of the time we get bits and pieces from Poundland. Um, Hemmer's really good. But there's some things that I just can't get in shops and that I'd like to get online. So, I have picked up in the past little boxes, uh, cardboard boxes to put um, sandwiches and stuff in to give the kids, but also paper party bags. I find the Amazon stuff, party stuff is much cheaper than some of the party websites online. So I definitely go and, you know, we'll go and have a little look on there after I've looked on some of all the, the other party websites. So these are really good. Generally they come in packs of like 50 or maybe a hundred. So I always have them for a couple of years. So any party stuff, make sure you go and check Amazon out. Okay, so here is definitely to be filed under last minute panics, fancy dress outfits. It never fails to astound me how many fancy dress outfits my children require. Um, it could be for a nativity, it could be for a dressing up day, it could be for World Book Day. And whilst you can kind of get these things in Sainsbury's, I find the ones on Amazon, one, are a bit better priced, and two, are just a bit better quality. So here is one of the outfits I picked up for Erin last year, and this is a Dorothy outfit. She actually wore it to a disco last night. So a Dorothy outfit comes, actually maybe it didn't come, maybe I had to buy the basket extra, I can't remember, I'll have a little look and link it below. But we've got a basket and a little dog, and it's just a really good outfit. It's lasted a year, very good quality and it just, it's from Ruby's, which is like a well-known brand, and it kind of got to me quite quickly in, in the mad rush of me forgetting everything. Another thing that I really like to get for the kids is plain T-shirts. You would be gobsmacked, but it is fairly impossible just to get plain coloured T-shirts. You can get T-shirts, you know, with sparkly unicorns on. You can get T-shirts with dinosaurs on. Can you get plain T-shirts for love and money? No. So if the kids have, for example, they might wear something for St. Patrick's Day or also for Sports Day, they have to wear green. 
I pop on and I get a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt in a colour. They're just a couple of quid. They come, they wash really well. I usually get them a size bigger than they need so they can have them for a couple of years. And then they're just filed in a box that's just kind of like miscellaneous uniform. So let me know if you'd ever like me to show you how I arrange a school uniform, how I kind of organise all the different things, especially as I've got a boy and a girl. So there's lots of different uniform going on. But yeah, the Fruit of the Loom t-shirts are really, really great and they wash really, really well. This is to be marked under toiletries that is a bit grim to talk about, but that's okay. Knits. My kids went through a spate towards the end of last year of continuously having knits. It was a constant. We treated them time and time and time and time again. It was just, I was at my end of my tether, so I kind of like was like, what is the best thing? And I looked at reviews, and the Nitty Gritty Knit Free Comb came up time and time again as the best thing to use. So if you've got children who are starting school or who are at school, or who, you know, sometimes might get knits, this is really good. We actually stopped using the knit lotion, which is gross, and it strips the hair, and it, oh, it's just grim. We just used this with conditioner, and this actually did the job and got rid of it all. Life saver i think it's really good to have a medicine cabinet just full of stuff you need on the off chance you don't want to kind of get caught out with knits and it being too late to go and get anything so get that guys definitely get that another thing that i didn't think i'd buy and i feel like it's kind of like quite an old fashioned thing to buy is we have to have by the sink in the bathroom and also in the bath a like nail brush thing and on Amazon I think it came in a pack of six or something because I know we, we actually had this for for the pack for a couple of years but this is really good to give their the kids a good wash with their fingers because they might get paint in it if anything goes to beavers they're full of mud and it's disgusting so we just have this upstairs you can see this one is very well used we just have this upstairs and it helps get their hands really really nice and clean so the pack came in all sorts of different colours really really handy something i never thought i'd buy something i wouldn't know where to buy but on amazon it was there came to my house okay you may have seen this on my instagram you may have seen it on a video last year but i love to do scrapbooking with my children um it's pretty impossible to get scrapbooks in shops i've tried the works I've tried supermarkets, I've tried all over the place, I just couldn't find them, so I got them from Amazon. I got this pack, which came with the red and the blue one, which was super reasonably priced, but very strangely, it came and it smelt really odd. I don't know if it's the glue, I don't know what it is, so for this year, I've actually gone for a more expensive, bigger scrapbook that also came in a pack or two, that does not smell, so thank the Lord. So. With this scrapbook, um, at the start of every summer, they get a scrapbook. We decorate it on the first day. And then in it, they just put different things they've done. So um, I get them to draw pictures of nice days they've had out. I get them to stick in tickets from when we went on holidays, leaflets of the places we've visited. It's just really, really nice memory. And then when I look back, when they're older, I can see all the fun things we did in summer. I am going to do for my next video like a summer holiday hacks. So I'll definitely chat a little bit more about the scrapbook in there. But it's really, really good. However, I wouldn't get the smelly one. Okay, you know, I love a label maker. I don't think this one is on Amazon every, anymore, but I'll link below one that's similar. Label makers are great for families because you can label the boxes for the kids to put away their toys in so they know that Barbies go in one, Lego goes in another, jigsaws go in one. I also find it really um, helpful to label the kids' drawers. So with Erin, if I say to her, right, could you put your washing away? She knows the pyjamas goes in one, she knows which one of the socks goes in, she knows which one of the uniform goes in. Really, really helpful. I just love organisation. So for me, a label maker is it's my best friend. And I will, have, I will say I have had this. This came from the old house. So I have had this for a few years and it's still looking as good as brand new so make sure you get one of those this is probably the most expensive thing on my amazon kind of mummy must-haves but i got it and i really liked it so i thought i would show you lot it is a 
bago. So a bago is like a toiletries bag because we go on holiday quite often a few times a year and I like to have a toiletries bag to take everything and this was just a really good one because I'll open it for you and also show you on the screen. It has got loads of pockets and also you can hang it off the sh uh, shower when you get into your hotel room. So in here I've got pockets of plasters, I've got a big section where we just put our shampoos and there's little sections where I can put my toiletries in. In the side pockets you've got one that is specifically for toothbrushes and toothpaste, that's really good to kind of carry around. And even though it's probably a bit more money than a toiletry bag that you could buy in Primark or you could buy in, you know, wherever, I find for a family toiletry bag, it is really, really, really useful. And it packs quite, you know, it's quite slim to pack in the bag and it's just really helpful to just grab stuff out and pack it. So there we go. There are some of the favourite things that I have bought on Amazon in kind of the past year, with the exception of my best friend, the label maker. As I said, if you'd like me to do an Amazon must-haves that's more like product or homeware, let me know in the comments below, and I can certainly do one of those. I'll link everything below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd love for you to subscribe. I'll also leave a card at the end that's got some of my organisation on, so you can kind of have a little look at, you know, some of those videos and I will see you for another upload soon.